Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williamson with Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com and what I want to show you in this quick tut tutorial is how to display admin notices in your dashboard. These admin notices are the messages that you see up here at the top anytime a plugin is activated, uh, sometimes when you activate a theme, or if a plugin or a theme has displayed some sort of information there. Uh, for you, maybe it's an error message, perhaps it's an update message, it could be anything. Uh, but to just give you an example of what these messages are, let me go in here really quickly um, and let's just activate a plugin really quick. So let's just activate 5 second Google Maps right here. So we click activate and now it says plugin activated up here. So this is the admin message notice that I'm going to show you how to add. Um, they're actually really, really easy and they're a fantastic tool for your plugin uh, for displaying a variety of information. To give you a real example, um, I just use this in a plugin that is that is about to be released. Uh, it is an add-on plugin from an Easy Content Types plugin and what happens is that when you activate the plugin because it requires that Easy Content Types be activated it displays an error message up here if a the plugin is not the other plugin is not activated or if easy content types is below the required version number um, so you can use it f for things like that to show your your user oh FYI your your system does not yet support uh, the plugin that you're trying to activate anything um, it could also just be hey there's a new update of this plugin available or whatever have you. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this really quickly. Uh, it's really pretty easy. So I just have a custom functions plugin right here. This is just a little plugin that just allows me to write custom functions anytime I want. Uh, and it's just this plugin is just activated on my WordPress at all times. Uh, so I'm just going to write my functions in here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to write a function and I'm going to prefix with my name and we're just going to call it admin notices. Okay. And now, all we have to do is simply echo out the message that we want displayed. So I can just type echo. This is my message. Okay? Um, now, it's not going to do anything just yet, but if we add it, if we connect it with an action hook, uh, and the hook that we want to use is called admin notices, and now the second parameter is the, f the name of our function, just like that. Okay, so now this is going to be displayed up at the top of our dashboard. Uh, so if we go over here, there, this is my message. You can see it right there. Uh, now you'll notice, obviously, it's not displayed in the same style as this is. Um, so that's just a matter of going in and putting in the correct HTML, which is really easy as well. Uh, so let's put that in. Uh, and it's going to be in a div with a class of updated and then a, P, then a paragraph tag, and that's it. Then we'll close those off. And now if we refresh, now we see this is my message. And if we go anywhere else in the dashboard, we still see that, that that's displayed. Um, so you can see we use the class updated here. If we want, we can change this to error, and now we'll see the error message actually. So this is my error message. Um, so here we're taking advantage of the built-in styles that WordPress has uh, loaded in its core style sheets. Um, I strongly encourage you to always do this. Um, if we want to pretty this up a little bit more, we could do this. Let's put in a strong tag, error, just like that. There we go. So now we clearly see that this is an error. Okay. Um, Let's go a little bit further. Uh, so yeah, this is nice, but what if you wanted to display a really long message? Uh, it's going to be kind of a pain to type it all into this echo string. So let me show you how to do this a little bit differently. Uh, what we can use is something called the output buffer. And we're going to start this with ob underscore start. This basically says start the output buffer. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to type out our HTML just like this, just like normal. Um, notice I have my, my closing uh, PHP tag right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open PHP back up and I'm going to echo ob underscore git clean. This basically says we're going to start the output buffer 
This is the contents of the output buffer, and now we're going to display anything that's in the output buffer. So now you'll see it looks exactly the same, but this is much easier to write out. If we want, we can format it nicely. Uh, we can do this, um, and we can go as far as we want with that. Um, we can display a second one. Uh, this is my second line of errors. So there, it's got much larger. So it's just a lot easier if we put this all into an output buffer because it's it's cleaner, it's easier to see, we can format it nicely, etc. Um, we can also do anything we want here in terms of conditional checks. For example, uh, we can do an we can do a check here to only show this if we're on a certain page, or maybe we want to use this to show a message after we have saved the settings in our plugin or anything of that manner. Um, so any of your regular conditional checks will work in here. Um, you would you would just write them in just like this. Uh, if um, let's see, let's do let's show this only on um, let's just show this on on one of my plugin pages. So for example, if we over here to easy content types, um, the page the slug name. Uh, is I'm going to grab that real quick, which is from the URL. So now I'm going to say if is if is set get page. This is what's used in the WordPress admin to determine which page uh, we're on. And get page equals that's my page slug for the Easy Content Types admin. Now we're going to display that. So that's only going to be displayed if we're on this page right here. So now you can see the, the error is displayed, but it's not displayed anywhere else. So you can go as far as you want with this. Uh, you can display really simple messages. You can display really advanced messages. You could create multiple functions for multiple notices. Um, it's up to you. Uh, but this is a fantastic tool that you can use in your plugins. You can use it in your themes. It's not dependent on plugins or themes. Um, and I highly encourage that you use it. But I would also caution you that you use it wisely. Don't simply start showing messages all over the place because you can, because it's going to be really annoying to the user. Second, if you're displaying a message um, like this, make sure that there's a way that this message goes away. Either it only shows the first time the page is loaded, or they have a, a way that they can close the message manually. Because if there's no way to get rid of this message, it's going to be really annoying for the user. Um, but so anyway, that's it. It's really simple. You have one function. You simply output the contents of your message inside of a div that either has a class of error or updated. You wrap your text in a paragraph tag, and then you simply pass that function through the admin notices hook. That's it. Uh, so let me know what you think. Leave your comments, please. Um, thanks for watching.